NASA and SpaceX just teamed up to develop a new nuclear rocket engine, claiming it blows the Raptor engine out of the water. The Raptor's been the heart of Starship, but now they're betting on nuclear power to take Mars missions to the next level. This breakthrough could redefine space travel, unlocking speeds Starship could only dream of with chemical propulsion. So what is this engine? How does it outperform SpaceX's Raptors? Why do NASA and SpaceX agree this tech is a future game changer? Let's dive into today's episode of Alpha Tech. Elon Musk, the mastermind behind SpaceX, has always been a vocal advocate for pushing the frontiers of space travel. In July 2019, he set the internet buzzing with a tweet that made his stance crystal clear. Responding to a post about nuclear engines, he declared, Nuclear thermal rocket for fast transit around solar system would be a great area of research for NASA. It wasn't just a passing comment. It was a call to action. Musk wasn't just supportive of the tech. He was practically urging NASA to dive headfirst into developing it. He emphasized that while nuclear engines might not be ideal for Earth launches, they're perfect for in-space transit. That single tweet ignited discussions across the space community, amplifying hope that faster, more efficient journeys to Mars, Musk's ultimate vision, might be closer than we think. And it's easy to see why the excitement skyrocketed. Nuclear-powered rocket engines don't just outperform Raptor engines, they have the potential to completely redefine the space race. We're talking lightning-fast journeys, massive payloads, and finally breaking free from the limits of chemical propulsion. The truth is, this isn't some brand new tech. It's been around for a long, long time. Back in 1961, NASA and the AEC launched the Nuclear Engine for Rocket Vehicle Application, or NERVA, a bold step toward nuclear-powered space travel. This wasn't just a tech demo. It was a vision of sending humans to Mars, championed by legends like Werner von Braun, former director of Marshall Space Flight Center, and the chief architect of the Saturn V rocket. By 1969, after testing over 20 engines in Nevada, the XE engine proved nuclear propulsion was ready to soar. But in 1973, budget cuts and shifting priorities post-Apollo shut it down. The dream of nuclear-powered spaceflight faded away, buried in the shadows of history, or so we thought. After NERVA was shut down, nuclear rocket tech seemed to vanish into obscurity for decades. But the spark never really died out. By the late 90s and early 2000s, scientists at NASA's Glenn and Marshall Research Centers quietly started exploring the idea again, even if only on a small scale. They discovered something groundbreaking. Nuclear engines could slash the travel time to Mars from six to nine months to just three to four months. That's not just a convenience, it's a potential lifesaver, drastically cutting the time astronauts are exposed to deadly cosmic radiation. In 2021, NASA teamed up with DARPA to launch the Draco program, a daring mission to test a spacecraft powered by nuclear engines in space by 2027. Then, on January 24, 2023, the official announcement struck like lightning. Humanity had taken a giant leap toward reaching Mars faster than ever before. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson hailed it as an exciting investment for the future, igniting hope that the Red Planet is no longer a distant dream, but a destination within our grasp. NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy highlighted the mission's importance, noting that Draco, powered by advanced nuclear thermal propulsion, will play a key role in testing technology to take humans farther into the solar system than ever before. So, what makes NTP engines so special, even better than powerful chemical engines like SpaceX's Raptor? Here's the game changer. It runs on the principle of nuclear fission. When a neutron collides with a uranium atom, it splits into smaller fragments, unleashing an enormous amount of energy. That energy is then converted into thrust. Compared to chemical propulsion, nuclear engines are far more efficient and powerful, allowing rockets to hit higher speeds and slash travel times. On top of that, nuclear propulsion has a much higher specific impulse, meaning it squeezes way more thrust out of the same amount of fuel. And the fuel behind this marvel? It's called H-A-L-E-U high assay, low enriched uranium. Unlike the highly enriched uranium of the past, HALEU is safer and more sustainable, with enrichment levels between just 5% and 20%. It cuts down radiation risks, keeps costs low, and makes long duration missions more feasible than ever. This blend of cutting edge tech and smart fuel design isn't just a scientific achievement. It's a bold step toward conquering the vastness of space. 
Dale Thomas, a former associate director at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center and now a professor at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, highlighted its significance, stating, Nuclear propulsion, either electric or thermal, could extract more energy from a given mass of fuel than is possible via combustion-based propulsion. That's true, Raptor engines, the pride of SpaceX, are absolute monsters. They run on methane and oxygen using a full-flow staged combustion cycle, pushing exhaust out at blistering speeds of 3,400 to 3,700 meters per second in a vacuum. That's lightning fast for a chemical engine, and honestly, an engineering masterpiece. But here's the thing. Chemical propulsion has a ceiling. No matter how refined the design, there's only so much energy you can squeeze out of burning fuel. However, when stacked against nuclear thermal propulsion, it's like bringing a race car to a rocket fight. Instead of burning fuel, nuclear thermal propulsion uses a nuclear reactor to heat up hydrogen and shoot it out the nozzle. The result? Exhaust velocities of 8,000 to 9,000 meters per second, more than double what Raptor can do. It's like comparing a jet engine to a rocket booster. The sheer energy released from nuclear fission makes chemical reactions look like child's play. In simple terms, Raptor is like a souped-up sports car tearing up the road. NTP, it's a hyperloop, cutting travel times and opening up the entire solar system. And if we're serious about getting to Mars or beyond, faster and safer, that extra speed and efficiency could make all the difference. The real magic of a nuclear engine lies in its incredible efficiency. These engines deliver a specific impulse, ISP, of around 850 to 900 seconds, nearly double the best chemical rockets, like SpaceX's Raptor, which peaks at about 380 seconds in a vacuum. While Raptor is impressive for a chemical engine, it's still far behind what nuclear thermal propulsion can achieve. To put it simply, Raptor engines are powerful but burn a lot of fuel, much like a truck that only gets 10 miles per gallon. This means Starship needs large fuel tanks, taking up valuable space and requiring more refueling. By contrast, NASA's NTP is more efficient, like a car getting 25 miles per gallon. It uses less fuel, frees up room for other equipment or cargo, and can reach destinations like Mars much faster. This breakthrough has sparked excitement among NASA officials. Former NASA Administrator Bill Nelson emphasized its potential, saying, with the help of this new technology, astronauts can journey to and from deep space faster than ever, a major capability to prepare for crewed missions to Mars. Of course, nothing's perfect, and nuclear propulsion is no exception. Here are the drawbacks of this tech and the challenges NASA and DARPA are facing. According to official specs, the latest Raptor 3 cranks out around 280 tons of thrust, about 2,750 kilonewtons, at sea level. Stack 33 of these beasts on a super heavy booster, and you're looking at over 9,000 tons of thrust. That's an absolute monster when it comes to punching through Earth's atmosphere. Meanwhile, for NTP liftoff is a whole different story. Nuclear engines lag behind in brute force, with typical designs generating around 50,000 to 100,000 pounds of thrust, 220 to 445 kilonewtons per engine. Even in clusters, NTP isn't built to launch from Earth's surface. It's more like a long-distance hauler for deep space. You'd need chemical rockets like Raptor to break free from Earth's gravity and then hand the baton to NTP for the high-speed dash across the solar system. Next up, reliability and reusability. Raptor has this locked down. SpaceX has fired these engines hundreds of times, and they're already powering Starship as we speak. Plus, methane is way easier to store and produce on Mars compared to hydrogen. But for super long missions, you'd need to haul thousands of tons of fuel, capping how far you can go. On the flip side, nuclear thermal propulsion is the dreamer's engine. It hasn't been battle-tested like Raptor yet. We'll have to wait for the Draco test flight, scheduled for 2027, to see its true potential. But according to research, its insane fuel efficiency could slash travel time to Mars down to just three months instead of six, as I mentioned earlier. The downside? Storing hydrogen is a huge headache. It needs to be kept at a frigid minus 253 degrees Celsius or minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. And launching straight from Earth? Pretty much impossible because of safety concerns and low thrust, but out in space, NTP turns into a powerhouse. 
the vacuum of space acts like a natural cryogenic freezer, with temperatures dropping to 270 degrees Celsius or negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit, making hydrogen storage way more manageable. Lastly, methane packs more punch per volume than hydrogen, meaning Raptor's fuel tanks can be smaller and lighter, a big win for efficient practical launches. Even better, methane can be synthesized on Mars using the Sabatier reaction, sinking seamlessly with SpaceX's dream of colonizing the Red Planet. And here's the clincher. Raptor is built for durability, targeting 1,000 flights per engine to slash costs in a way no other engine can match. Meanwhile, NTP, for all its promise, still has a long road ahead to prove it can compete on cost-effectiveness. But here's the deal. It's not about crowning one engine king over the other. It's about picking the perfect tool for the job. NASA's Nuclear Thermal Propulsion, NTP, is a deep space superstar, promising to slash Mars trips from seven months to just three while hauling heavier payloads with way less fuel. Imagine zipping to the red planet without lugging massive tanks. That's the efficiency nuclear power brings. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Raptor rules the Earth to orbit game. With its methane-powered punch, it's driving down launch costs and making space more accessible than ever before. And that's where Starship, powered by Raptor, takes center stage. This isn't just a rocket, it's a colossal game changer for Mars missions. Its massive size and cargo capacity could haul entire habitats, heavy machinery, or even Martian soil samples back to Earth in one go. Think about it. A single trip delivering the building blocks of a colony, with Starship itself doubling as a temporary home for settlers. That's a brilliant way to save resources and kickstart life on Mars. But let's talk about NASA's nuclear dream. It's straight out of sci-fi and the potential is mind-blowing. Still, it's not all smooth sailing. Nuclear propulsion has a history of steep costs, tangled regulations, and safety hurdles, challenges that haven't gone away. Just look at the Mars sample return mission. Delays and ballooning budgets show how tricky these projects can get. If NTP stumbles over the same roadblocks, we might be waiting a while before it powers us to the stars. So, imagine this. Raptor and Starship blasting us into orbit, then NTP taking the baton for the cosmic marathon. Together, they could redefine humanity's reach. What do you think? Can these two titans team up to conquer space? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we keep chasing the stars.